Pregnancy is a time when many women become more aware of their bodies. And for many, pregnancy means having to cope with a whole range of symptoms, from low back pain to morning sickness. Osteopathic treatment during pregnancy can help the body adjust to these changes. Carol Smart is 30 weeks pregnant. She gave birth to her first child prematurely and is hoping the osteopathic centre can help her cope this time around. Well, um, if we talk about pregnancy as a whole, basically with, with pregnant women you've got a lot of changes to adapt to and a lot of hormonal changes as well as physical changes, so we can help the body as it learns to adapt to those things. Um, as your baby grows, not only does your posture change here, but often your breasts increase in size, and that can put a lot of strain through the upper back as well. Um, Carol was, was actually experiencing some low back pain, and again, often the sacroiliacs can be a source of discomfort for a lot of ladies as the ligaments soften, the ligaments particularly through the pelvis will soften. But she was starting to experience some pubic symphysis pain as well. So one of the things that we're going to be doing for the next couple of months through her pregnancy is hopefully to monitor that to help to reduce the stress of the developing and growing baby on the low back and also on the symphysis pubis. Because baby Chayana was born three months early, the OCC are keen to keep her closely monitored. She's now 11 months old and doing very well and although just here for a checkup, Carol is concerned about some dry patches appearing on Chayana's back also about her general development. With a child that's early like that we need to look at their neurological system so we need to see whether or not they're covering all their milestones because some premature babies can be a little bit delayed in those and she was doing very very well but the thing that we really noticed today was that when she was writing herself which is a reaction that we all have she wasn't writing herself quite as well when she was going over to that right side so she was losing her balance more easily and then when we asked mum she said yes that is what happens. So, um, and what we actually found was that an area that's quite tight, typically on premature babies, at the back of the head was actually still quite compressed on her and very, very slightly rotated. So we were trying to release that, um, which will help the area that affects balance. Charlotte Reynolds had osteopathic treatment while she was pregnant and has returned to the centre to have her 11-month-old baby treated for his eczema. Charlotte believes that this complementary therapy has improved Seba's skin condition alongside the conventional treatment under her GP. Our, our job ideally is to try and help them to get off their medication, but that's done over a period of time with the patients, either parents either slowly withdrawing medication in consultation with their GP or their specialist as, you know, as they can. So, I mean, how's it, how's it been? Really up and down with this eczema. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's been fantastic and we'll be off the steroid creams for a week yeah. and other times it's bad. Um, and he's been reacting again to food that I've been eating. Breastfeeding Seba is beginning to cause a problem as it's hard to isolate his allergies while he's still relying on Charlotte's milk. David, Seba's osteopath, is looking at ways to isolate his allergies and before he begins the treatment, his consultation is thorough. Often, paediatric osteopaths can diagnose problems that may have been missed by health visitors or regular GPs. The OCC believes that by treating relatively minor problems in infancy, future health is less vulnerable. Leaving a minor problem without treatment means that even while a child's body adapts to it, and even if it clears up eventually, there still remains a long-term negative effect. So, although the clinic does not offer miracle cures, sometimes the health of sick children can improve enormously.